Hello, there is something weird about warp effects as you should know. So I just have this plain old ellipse here. If I select it, I can apply an effect, a warp, apply, I will apply a warp effect, he said. Okay, so I'm gonna go to effect, warp, and I'll just choose flag, and that's the effect applied. <coughs> and you can uh, adjust, you know, the parameters of the, of the effect, you know, so I could adjust the horizontal vertical and the severity of the bend. Okay, so let's say I like that. Okay, great. Now, if I try to uh, rotate this object, the, um, the object will not maintain the same shape. The warp effect will be applied like relative to the positioning of the object, if that makes any sense. Okay, so in other words, if I really like this shape, and then I try to rotate it, you know, to, to fit it into my drawing, I have problems. All right, so let me just go back. Let me command Z. Okay, so that's the uh, warp effect applied. Let's pretend I like this, yay. To um, lock this down, you go to Object, Expand Appearance. Now after I clicked Object, Expand Appearance, I can rotate this and the object maintains the shape that I want. Now remember, though, that this warp effect is no longer editable, okay? So like, um, I cannot change the warp effect of this. It, it's, it's gone. It's locked down forever. Now you can apply a new uh, warp effect to it, but that's really not going to help you too much. Um, it, you know, because it's it's gonna like warp the warped object alrighty so long story short uh, when you apply a warp effect make sure it's the make sure you have the shape that you cor that you want before going to object and expand appearance